Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 on creating the menu manager. So we left off by adding in the uh, menu items uh, method and the set animations method. Okay, so uh, now we, we hopefully got things set up. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to we want to have two for loops in our updates. We're going to have uh, if it's uh, we're going to loop through the animations. And we're gonna have a nested for loop, and it's gonna go to animations i dots i dot animation i dot size. So I did this wrong. Okay, so we're gonna say that if item number is is equal to i, then animation i j dot set is active oh no it can't be dot it has to be a pointer to it a set is active we're going to set it to true else for all the animation i j we say set animation i j set is active we'll set it to false and we update it so animation i j update and we don't how do we okay we don't have a input manager so instead of uh, taking a uh, allegro event we're going to take an input manager so we'll say input manager and input uh, so let's go to our updates and change the input manager. Okay. Uh, so we got everything we we need to be set over there. So now we're just gonna have two uh, for loops, uh, one nested one, and. Uh, same, same two for the same two for loops from above. Uh, J is equal to zero. J is less than animation. Uh, I dot size. J plus plus. And we're gonna say animation I J dot. Uh, draw. Okay. Uh, so now we hopefully got everything set up so what we want to do now is we want to make a, a text file for it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say new and we're gonna say load equals uh, title so that's gonna be the title menu and we're gonna have end load equals uh, title okay and for now we'll uh, name it menus and I'll my extension is CME. Could be any extension file extension that you that you wish. Okay, so what we're gonna load in are the positions, uh, the axis, uh, the font, um, and the animation. Okay, so the position is for me. I'm going to set it to zero zero. Uh, the axis. Uh, the axis isn't. Oh, there's some things that we got to do before we even display anything to the screen. Uh, but for the font, I'll just say font one. And for the animation, I'll put fade. And for the items, I'll load item. Uh, we'll have new game. We have load game. We have options. And we'll have credits. Okay. So for the axis, the axis is gonna um one means horizontal, the menu is gonna be horizontal, and um if the axis is two means it's gonna be vertical. Okay, so when we set the animation or uh we yeah. So once we set the animations and such let's go to set animations. So when we load the content, we have our position in there, but uh uh, we can't put in the same position for every single menu item, right? We have to um, increase it or or something. So what we're gonna say is I'm gonna have another uh, mm, 
corner and it's going to point to our position okay uh, so we're gonna say position uh, we're gonna s uh, let's see what we're gonna say uh, we'll we'll say that um, if if axis is equal axis is equal to two uh, then we'll set the, we'll say position position uh, plus plus one uh, will be equal to so that'll be the y the y coordinate will be will will say plus equals um let's see can we get the f the height of it no i'm not sure if we can get the height of the string uh the the font size is 30 right so we'll say uh plus equals 30 okay and uh for f uh if axis is equal to 1 then we say uh say else if axis is equal to 1 uh then we'll say uh, the regular position uh, plus equals um, AL get font width I think that's what it is no it's get text width and we place a font in there and for our string we'll put menu items I okay dot c underscore string okay so uh with if everything goes according to plan we should get our desired results uh so let's test this out by running it so we didn't even set we didn't even set a menu to anything yet so it's not even gonna work right we didn't send anything to the title screen yet, so uh, we should go to the title screen. And uh, what we're gonna do is in the title screen dot h, so find the header file. Uh, we're gonna include the menu manager. And we're gonna create an instance of this menu manager menu and in the title screen at CPP in the load content we're gonna say menu dot load content and for the ID we'll say title and we'll have uh, menu dot unload content and for the update we'll say menu dot update and we'll take an input and of uh, the draw we'll say menu dot draw Okay, and we can uh, comment this out. So let's see what we get if we run into any errors. I should increase the fade speed. Okay, so we got our menu, but it's all jumbled up. So that means uh, there was something wrong uh, in the way we executed. So our axis is equal to two. Oh, sorry. So our axis is equal to two, but our position isn't. Uh, our position isn't. Our axis isn't changing it. So if we go to our menu uh, manager, th there's something that we have to uh, change. So what do what do we change it in? Uh, oh, so in s we're putting in the position. We should put in the POS that we put, and let's see if it changes. Just wait for it to fade out. Click enter, and we still did not get our desired res results. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna check if it is increasing it oh I accidentally closed it uh 
Let me increase the fade speed so then we don't have to wait for this. Or we can just change the first screen to the title screen. It's up to you which one you want to do. But um, yeah, I'm just going to change the fade speed to 10 so it fades faster. Okay, so uh, it's still there's still a problem. So it's not calling, it's not calling this over here. So that means it doesn't have a value for axis, right? Uh, so therefore, um, oh, cause we didn't set anything for axis. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, so we're gonna say that else if attributes i j equals axis. Uh, then we say uh, axis is equal to to uh, contents JC underscore string okay so now we should get our desired results okay so it reaches that part of the portion of the code and as you can see our menu is in the correct order and sequence that we want it to be so I'm gonna end this tutorial right here and oh we, we we're not getting the animation the fade animation that we want but we will fix that in the next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye